Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedient PC Audio Labs. Today we're back with our Cubase video tutorials. And on today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to export your mix down from Cubase. So first of all, what is the mix down? So the mix down is basically the final mix of your song. Okay. It's the final product. It's typically a file that includes your uh, whatever goes to your stereo output, whatever you're listening to, okay? The final contribution of all the elements joined and put together into a single file. Um, typically, um, when you are, let's say, producing a band or an artist and they've been recording for the session or whatever, they're going to ask you for a bounce. That's another word. It's kind of interchangeable, a mix down or bounce. Um, and you can easily do this in Cubase with a couple clicks here and there, okay? So uh, you're gonna do that, once again, once you finish a recording session to have a reference, you're gonna do that also when you finish mixing, you wanna send it to a mastering engineer, or if you're the actual mastering engineer, you need to deliver the final product. And you can do all of that from Cubase. So um, here I have um, 14 tracks. This is a song that I was working on. So you have the idea of the groove, right? So I got some drums, bass, organs, roads, and so on and so forth. I also have my cycle, um, my loop cycle here activated. This is very important. You want to make sure that the left end of the cycle is where the song starts and the right end or the end, I guess, it's where your program material ends. Maybe a little after that, kind of like I have it here. Uh, the reason why we want to make sure that this is properly set is because the audio file is going to start where that starts and it's going to end where that guy ends right there. So um, how do we do the actual mix down? We go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down. Once again, top menu, File, Export, Audio Mix Down. Once you click there, you got um, a couple areas here that are important. First, your channel selection, um, single or multiple. Single means that you're gonna you're only gonna export one file. In the case of this tutorial, we're gonna export the output, the stereo output channel. Meaning that, um, as you can see, all of these are going to the stereo output. Um, which is where basically I have my, you know, my, my, my monitors connected. So everything that goes to the stereo output, put together, that's what this says, put together and just bounce that as a single, uh, as a single file. Now you could also do like multiple, click here on multiple and not just do the stereo output, which is the actual mix or mix down, but also individual channels like your kick, maybe your left organ, your bass, uh, you would do that if you were sharing this with another producer. Maybe someone wants to work on those tracks a little bit and then send them back to you. Uh, but in, in you know, 99% of the times, you're going to be doing single stereo output for your regular mix down. Uh, you want to do the export range between locators. We already explained those, left and right, or I guess start and end. Um, now, file location. Uh, first, your, the name. Let's go ahead and call it My Amazing Song. Okay, now you have your path. Where do you want to record? Uh, save that. Uh, right now, I have my desktop just to make it easier. Um, as you can see, the preview it's going to be called my amazing song. That wave uh, is going to be that wave because down here we're going to go to file format. The file type that I have selected is wave. Uh, you can also select your sample rate. I have it to forty-eight kilohertz because that's the way I recorded it. And then your bit depth or bit resolution. I am currently set to 24 bits. That's the way I'm recording. Now, uh, this is important. Uh, if you're sharing this with someone, let's say like a mastering engineer, they're going to ask you for a special sample rate and a special bit depth. Uh, so just make sure that whatever you select here is what they're asking you. Then you have interleaf, split channel, mono down mix. 99.9% um, of the times so you're going to be doing interleaf because this is a mix down. Um, interleaf means that you have both the left and right channel put together into a single audio file that reproduces those two sides. Uh, so you can listen in your stereo system at home, 
uh, your living room, maybe in your car sound system, um, you know, your phone or whatever. Um, so you want to make sure you're there interleaved. Uh, after export, do nothing. That's fine. So if we click export audio, it's going to do its thing. It's exporting. It, it tell you estimated time remaining, nine, eight, seven seconds. You can see it goes 60, 70%, 80%. And once that ends, nothing happened, right? But if I minimize all that, you can see down here, there it is. Here's my file, my amazing song. You can use that, share it and press play. And you'll be able to listen to the mix down of this song. So uh, that's it for today. That's how you create your mix down in Cubase. That's how you export your mix down in Cubase. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs and we'll be happy to help you. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.